Right. They're unemployed and they're being told to come up with five, ten, sometimes more than twenty thousand dollars. And tonight our I team is investigating overpayments of unemployment benefits. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles is finding out that there may be help for people in need. This problem involves pandemic unemployment assistance. It was added to regular state unemployment to get money into the hands of contract and gig workers. But what if you were being told you were overpaid? The I team is finding out how that overpayment can be forgiven. I'm going to be out in the street probably uh, March 1st if this is not taken care of. Before the pandemic, Michael Sabo used to drive business travelers to and from the airport in his Lincoln town car. Now he's out of work and on PUA through the Illinois Department of Employment Security. I just want somebody to call me. The Lyle man says about two months ago, he was told by the state that he owed almost $22,000 in overpayments. After that happened, Sabo says the state started deducting what he owed and stopped giving him his unemployment benefits. I'm 75 years old. I'm a veteran, Vietnam veteran, you know, and, you know, I, I work hard. We forwarded Sabo information to IDES. The agency won't comment on specific claimants, but its acting director did address the widespread overpayment issue in an interview with the I-Team late last month. We are working with federal partners to develop a process for how those individuals may request a waiver. The federal law does require us to adjudicate all of those matters on a case-by-case -case basis. The department says it's preparing to issue notices and questionnaires for PUA claimants identified to have had an overpayment to determine who may get a waiver. Adding it has reached out to the U.S. Department of Labor for direction on how to grant the waivers. That PUA overpayment forgiveness can happen because of the pandemic relief package passed in December. That legislation included language to address the PUA overpayment issue by forgiving some of the overpayments. It was drafted by Illinois Senators Tammy Duckworth and Dick Durbin. To ask them to return that money at this point is not reasonable uh, and would cause a real hardship at a time when people are struggling to get by. So I think if the mistake was on the government side and there was no evidence of fraud on the person receiving the payment that they should be forgiven. The overpayment issue has been an ongoing challenge for dozens of people who have called the I-Team. IDES has stated it suspected that many people dealing with this unknowingly overestimated their income or submitted gross incomes instead of net incomes after taxes, hence showing a higher income and getting more benefits. New documentation requirements may also help prevent this issue. If you had to pay back $22,000 what would you do? I don't have $22,000. But on Wednesday, Sabo discovered his overpayment was forgiven. He also shared screenshots with us showing his weekly benefits are going to be paid out again too. Just like Sabo, others could also be seeing those overpayments deducted already from their weekly benefits. IDES says if an overpayment waiver ends up being granted to an individual, then people in that situation will get that money back again. Jason Knowles, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Great work. Thanks so much, Jason, for your help. Now let's take a look outside on this Thursday night. Mounds and mounds of snow, Cheryl, and it looks like we might have more coming. Yes, eventually we're going to see some more snow and snow is continuing to fall in parts of our area. Live look over the city right now. A beautiful shot. We've mostly clear skies. Notice the moon there. Some cloud cover there blocking the moon and just to the right of the moon is Mars. We can't see it, but boy, what a big day in the world.